For most people, it's a really simple process. Uh, is if you're in freshwater, just a little rinse off and maybe a little bit of lubrication on the reel as far as an, an oil or some type of grease, depending on your reel, can be helpful. Um, for salt water, just it's very important to make sure you rinse off all your equipment with fresh water every time, especially around the guides on the rod, just to prevent rust, corrosion, anything along those lines. Definitely make sure you hit your, hit your reel too. Your cheaper reels that aren't really built to hold up the salt water, you're probably going to have to take it apart and actually regrease it most of the time. Uh, the majority of the reels that we're running into in the salt water world though now are actually have a fully sealed drag system to where they're virtually maintenance free. You spray them off with the water hose and they're good to go. Um, some manufacturers will ask that you send them in for a once, once yearly service, but for the most part, other than a little fresh water, they're maintenance free. Typically, for a, if a manufacturer is requesting that their reels sent back, if it's a sealed drag system, there's generally a washer or a seal at some point in time that's what keeps that drag system watertight and keeps salt water from affecting it. Most manufacturers want to do the work themselves so that if a customer has a problem with the reel down the road, uh, there's, they can trace back exactly what happened to it. So generally with the sealed reels, the manufacturers want to see them. We can certainly do a little bit of basic cleaning in-house if somebody's let some stuff get out of hand, but for major operations, the manufacturer's normally the way to go.